All right, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Today's experiment is can you make a banana half brown? So halfway down, can you make that brown and the rest yellow? We know bananas are, are unripe when they're green, they're ripe when they're yellow, and they're starting to spoil when they turn brown. So today's experiment is we're going to make the banana half brown, and then we're gonna talk about the science behind it, why they turn brown. We'll do that right next. What you need for this experiment is a pot uh, filled with water about two thirds of the way up, a skewer, some tongs, and a banana, uh, a, a ripe banana that's yellow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill your hot water up and you're gonna put it over on the, the um, you're gonna put it up on the burner right there and you're gonna let it boil. So you're gonna turn it on high so it boils. Then we're gonna come back to the banana and we're gonna take the skewer and we wanna be able to make sure your skewer is long enough to fit inside the saucepan so it could hang over. And then we're gonna take it about uh, two thirds of the way up, about right here. Go all the way through, just like that. Make sure it's all the way over. And then we're gonna stick it in the um, wa boiling water once it starts. And what we're gonna do is the tongs for is when it's boiling, we're gonna to wanna to grab the banana here and set it into there and take it out. So now we're gonna put that banana in there for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna remove it from the boiling water and for five minutes, and we're gonna see if we can make that banana half brown. All right, so our, our water's boiling. We're gonna take our tongs and the banana, and we're going to set it in here for 30 seconds. Make sure only one end, you might have to hold it with the tongs if it goes all the way over. But basically you wanna have it just so half of it or part of it is straight down where it's not moving. So this time I had to hold, hold it um, to see if it's gonna turn brown from there. We're coming on about 15 seconds right now. We're gonna do this for 30, then we're gonna hold it out for five minutes to see if the banana can turn, completely turn brown. Um, we're coming up on the 30 seconds right here. And Pull it out and you can definitely see there was a little bit of a brown there so we'll see if it continues to get brown and we'll uh, monitor for back from there. So we've been out for about a minute now. Um, you can see the banana uh, definitely where it was on the water line right there is brown and you can definitely see there's a color change here. Is it completely half brown? I don't think so um, but it's getting there. We're going to let it go for a little longer. Um, and see what it turns out from there. So I kind of got an idea that the steam actually worked better than the actual putting the banana in the boiling. So we're gonna get back to the other banana uh, from the first experiment. But what I'm doing here is just holding it with the tongs and spinning it around in a circle so the steam can cover all the peel all the way through. And like I said, I kind of stumbled over this that the steam actually works a lot better than dipping the banana into uh, there as you can see look at that it totally turned half the banana brown which was I was trying to do so it was pretty awesome <clears throat> all right so the end results are uh, when I did this um, I had the sum submerged into the water right here but you can see the steam of the water boiling water really made it turn more brown than in the water so I decided to do a second experiment so this is the one that I had the skewers on. And then this one, I just used tongs and held it over the boiling water so the steam would hit it. And you can see it totally browned it like I wanted, totally browned it like I wanted uh, what I thought I was gonna do, um, just with the steam, uh, changing it to half and half compared to this one up here that was submerged in the water. So now we're gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna see um, if they got brown on the inside. So like, is it gonna be brown here to here and then normal this way? And then this one may be only brown right here and this one may be light brown or not brown. We're gonna see in just a second as I'm gonna reveal these here. So make your prediction. We'll start with the boiled one first and we're gonna open up the banana and uh, you can see it's, nope, it's not brown at all. All the way down, there's a little bit here, you can see, that's just the peel itself, but 
The banana is not brown at all. It's got the skewers, but it's not brown where the skin was. So I'm assuming the steam is going to be probably the same prediction, but we're going to open this up and peel these down here. Oh, see, look at that. It's brown there. But no, the brown does not go through right there, which is pretty cool. I would assume that it was going to go all the way through. Uh, so there it is all the way. And we can see it was not brown. It doesn't affect the banana. And I'm going to tell you the science behind it on why bananas get brown next. So the science behind this is all comes down to a chemical called polyphenol oxidase, a PPO. This chemical oxidizes, adds oxygen to a type of chemical called phenol. These oxidized phenols join together with other compounds to make the color brown. Polyphenol oxidase is normally contained inside certain parts of plant cells. When the cells are damaged, the PPO escapes and starts the browning process. That's why the bruised bananas go brown, and it's also what happens in this activity. All right, so, all right, so I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Um, it was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it did not turn brown, even though the outside turned brown just like I wanted it to, but it did not affect the inside. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to uh, click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching.